let's be honest, recurring tasks in ClickUp can be quite a pain in the ass. And everyone has run into an issue sooner or later with recurring tasks where we were ready to just call ClickUp to go somewhere. Right? So why are recurring tasks such a hassle? Because there's a lot of information that goes into setting up a recurring task and a lot of things that the system needs to know from you and learn from you. But we're gonna start easy and I'm gonna show you how to set up recurring tasks in ClickUp. If you're new here, I am Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you're ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, you better make sure you are subscribed and you hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Recurring tasks can be quite a hassle, but the moment you wrapped your head around how they work and how you need to set them up, oh my God, they are such a time saver and invaluable valuable for your business. So let's head on over to my ClickUp and let's see if we can't figure that out for you. Now, in this use case scenario, I am doing my finances in a setup that's called Profit First. And Profit First has two specific dates each month where I need to allocate my money at a certain percentage and on two dates in two different accounts. Whole nother story, you really need to look into Profit First. But what it comes down to is we need a recurring task on the 10th of each month and on the 25th of each month. Now, as you can see, I already have a task right here my 10 allocation which means this is going to be a task that repeats on the 10th every month now I like to start by just setting my first due date not August 10th but rather July 10th there we go due date July 10th 20 that is the first time this task needs to be in click up and needs to remind me that I need to do something now the start date is something different the start date is when your recurrence starts. So for example, if you are planning something in the future and you are not starting with the due date, but you want to start the recurrence, you know, honestly, I don't ever really work with the start date for a recurrence because why? Seriously, I just drop that off, set your due date and then set your reoccurrence and you don't even have to deal with the start date of this reoccurrence. The start date in itself is only just related to your recurrence start date. Nothing to do with the task in itself. So let's just stay away from it. Let's make it easy. Now you can set your due date really so already over here where it's due today it's due this weekend and as you can see it just changed it to the Saturday because I said tomorrow or this week next week next weekend in two weeks and four weeks I don't really use these ever I just set my due dates so I set the first due date again to July 10th and that's where this first task is gonna happen now going into setting your recurrence this is the quote simple version of recurring tasks we're going to talk about legacy recurring tasks in the next video. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when that video comes out. Let's start on these two right down here. Create new task and recurring forever. If you have a task that you just need to reoccur for the next six times or end on a specific date or it's just for a specific time frame, then this is what you need. But usually the recur forever is the one you're gonna need. Just like your automatic appointment in Google Calendar, it just goes on forever and just does its job. There's another thing, they create a new task. You can do recurring tasks in two different ways. You keep the same task and it just changes the due date or you do a new task, meaning it copies the old task, makes it a new task and you suddenly have two tasks after the first reoccurrence and then you have three tasks 
task after the next reoccurrence. Make sense? I personally prefer the create a new task because often enough there is conversation going on in the task that is that week specific and not next week specific. And it just keeps it cleaner to me. My personal preference. When you do the create a new task, make sure you also look into the options. So plan ahead. What is that recurring task going to look like? Do you need to copy your assignees? Do you need to copy your attachments? Do you need to copy any comment attachments or any of the stuff that's happening around that task? And this is where you can decide what's happening here. Are we duplicating the whole thing or are we just duplicating pieces of this task? And then going into the schedule, this one is a fairly simple one. It's just monthly on the 10th and you already can see I already did that every month on the 10th. Done. Perfect. Okay. I prefer to use the when done rather than when closed. That way the task doesn't need to get fully completed. It just needs to be in a done status and it's going to be on the same day each month because it's always going to be on the 10th. Now, if your date is specific to the day of the week, it would be the second Friday. Yep. Second Friday of that because this 10th happens to be the second Friday of this month, meaning it's Friday based, not date based. That's what this one is for. The other one is the first day of each month. So when you're running something on the first as well as the last day of each month. In this case, it's the same day of each month. We are creating a new task. Done. Now, a little pro tip in this one, when we are looking in a calendar view, and that's how easy you can add a calendar view to your setup, your recurring task is right there. Now let's see August. Ooh, it's right there too. You might not see that yet because you need to go up here in that menu and make sure you show recurring tasks. With that, you will see all of the following recurring tasks in your calendar view. This is only possible with recurring tasks that are set up in this type of recurring tasks. This will not be possible and not show up like that if you set up your recurring tasks in legacy settings. Also, this feature is only available on the paid plan. So you will not be able to see your future recurring tasks in the free account. Hope this helps. This got a status on recurring tasks, give you a little bit more understanding how these look and how these work. And in the next video, we are going to talk about the legacy recurring tasks, which have about 10 times more settings and customization capabilities. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload that video. If you are trying to figure out one specific use case scenario in recurring tasks, please don't hesitate. Jump in the comments below. Let me know your case and we will see if we can't figure this out for you.